Hello everyone! It has literally been forever since I last filmed a K-pop haul. So today I do have a very, 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 very exciting package and I am so excited for this because I have been waiting for the items in this package for a long time. But so today I just want to get it open and show you guys what I have in here because I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff. Oh my goodness, yay! Oh my god, I'm so excited! Finally! Oh my goodness. It has been forever since I last had Fromis things to unbox. So we'll start with this. So this entire package was sent to me by my friend because I had quite a few things from him that were supposed to be shipped to me. He sent this to me because he did make some slogans and he had a few left over, so he offered to send me one. So a Soyeon. Oh, that's so pretty, oh my god. And then some Soyeon stickers, some prints. And oh my goodness, they're so pretty. I feel like it's been so long since I've unboxed something. I am so out of it. And then this is the slogan. I know it is so pretty. I am so excited. So this is the slogan picture or at least the best I can show of it. This is what the back of it says. It's so pretty. Okay, I moved to the opposite side, so let's hope that's a little easier for me. So yes, that is everything that is in his slogan kit. And then, ah, so excited. I'm so excited to have this. Ah, uh, oh my god, ah, uh, I'm so excited. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a signed copy of From Nine, and it is signed on the back. A lot of the copies that they did for promotional copies were signed on the inside on this page. So with this album, I do have a complete collection of From Us Nine signed albums. So I am so excited to have this. Ah, I've been waiting for so long. And then finally, oh my god, this is my last fan sign slot. So we went through a lot of trouble trying to get the fan sign slots from the person that he went through. Um, long story short, they took forever to send them. And that's why I'm opening a Fun Factory fan sign slot almost eight months after <laughs> Fun Factory. Ah, oh my god, she's so pretty. Oh my god, I'm so happy it's finally here. Honestly, I don't remember what I asked her on the sticky note, so I'll probably put a um, picture over here of the translation. Oh my god, I'm so happy. But look how pretty she is, and she wrote to Emma. I love her. This is my third fanzine slot from her, and it's just so pretty. And then we do have some photo cards. He asked if I wanted the albums and photo cards, and I just said I wanted the photo cards. So here are the photo cards that I got with this album. They are so pretty. So yeah, this is everything that I got out of that one package. I'm totally gonna frame this and then um, seal this in some plastic wrap. It's been forever since I've opened anything that was Fromis related. So just to have this package finally, I I'm just so happy. So for now, I will go ahead and move on to the next clip. See you guys then. Hello everyone, welcome back to a new clip of this K-pop haul. So right now I do have two very exciting packages that I am just so excited to get into. So I think I will go ahead and start with this one. Oh, I'm so excited! Trying not to, like, you know, bend the actual card that's in here. But just, op just open, just open, please. That took so long to get out. But this is Jihun's Two Heart broadcast card. Oh my god, I'm so happy I have this finally. I've been eyeing this for a long time. This was the only broadcast card that I didn't have already for Jihun. Um, and I just kept putting it off because this broadcast card was a little bit more expensive than all the other ones, just because it is from debut era. But it is just so, 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 so pretty, and I am 
so happy I finally have it. So yes, this is the first item that I have. So this, this is actually from a pretty good friend of mine. Oh my God, I am so sorry. I just come, oh my God, <laughs> I just destroyed this envelope. Like it's so bad. I'm so excited to see these. Oh. So thank you for buying. I'm glad these cards are going to a better home. So these cards are three promise event photo cards for Jihun. Um, yes, this day is a very big Jihun centered day. Um, if you guys do not know or have not watched my old videos, um, promise event cards are the events that they had before they started doing fan signs. For Two Heart and Two Day Era, they did promise events, which were basically mini fan meetings, and everyone who went got to um, Pinky Promise the girls. Oh, I don't know how to open this without it hitting the top. This stresses me out. Okay, I think I got it. Oh my goodness, I, oh my god, I'm so excited. Um, as I said, the Promise Event cards are kind of rare um, to come across nowadays unless you buy them off K sellers. One of my friends recently did decide to lessen her Jihan collection, so she sold me these for such a good price, and I am so absolutely thankful to Kate. Thank you so much, Kate, for selling me these, and I am so excited to have them because I am so close to completing my Promise Card collection. But, um, so in total for Two Day and Two Heart, there were seven sets of photo cards um, for the members, and... Um, so that equals out to 14 cards total. So now with these three, I have 10 out of the 14. And I did um, actually put in buy requests with my proxy seller to buy the other four. So I'm going to be complete with these sets really soon. And I'm so excited. So yeah, I'll just show you the back. So each promise event card is actually hand signed by the girls. So these are all hand signed by Jihun. And um, so this is actually her first ever Promise Event photo card. It's so cute. This is the third Promise Event photo card from Two Heart era. And then this is her, this is her third from Two Day era. These are definitely purchases that I will cherish. I am so, 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 so close to finishing my Promise card collection. Possibly in this video, um, I might get the rest. Um, otherwise, it'll definitely be in an upcoming video. But I am so happy to have these. I finished my broadcast card collection, so that's really exciting. But for now, I'll definitely move on to the next clip. See you in a second. Hello, everyone. So today I have two packages here. Um, so I am filming on my bed because these packages are really big and I couldn't fit them both in frame at my desk. So I figured this was the best option. So I'm sorry if it looks a little weird, but I do have two very exciting packages today to show you guys. So I'll go ahead and start with this one first. So as you all know from the previous clip, I have been working on my promise card collection. Um, I believe that what is in here is another promise card that I bought off a K-seller. So to purchase this, I did go through a Korean address called Paceable. Oh, I'm kind of nervous about why it looks like this, but um, they're basically like one of those um, places that you just like get stuff shipped there and then you can have it shipped out to you. So that is what I did. So this is the original envelope. I'm sorry to the person that I purchased this from. Oh, I'm so excited. So these are more of Jihun's rare cards. So I just zoomed in a little bit so you could see it a little bit better. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. I am so excited for these. So along with this promise card, I have been trying to work on my Jihun rare collection. So 
Oh my god, I'm so excited. So I had such a difficult time finding this one, um, but I luckily found it through a K-seller on Twitter. So I am so happy. It's so cute. I'm just about done with it. I just have to ship out my other promise cards and then I'll be done with this collection. Uh, so I'll show you the actual card. And then this is what the back looks like, as I already mentioned. They're all hand signed. And this is her fourth two heart promise card. Uh, so this is so funny and actually really cool. The card holder that they sent them in, like the card sleeve is like a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh card, I think, like a card holder. At least I think that's what it is. I don't know, but I am so, oh, I'm so excited. I can't believe I have this card in my hand. This card is super, super, super rare. And I literally cannot believe I own it now. Ooh, it's really nice. It's not even, it's like a thicker plastic kind of material instead of like a paper photo card. Oh my God. So this card is so rare and I found it at a really, really good price through that case seller. So this card was given out to people who attended, I believe it was like a movie like showing that um, promise held during fun era. I don't exactly remember the details, but there are not that many of these in existence and I luckily own one now. So this is what the back looks like. It just has that standard picture from fun on it that we all know and love. I think this was like an attendance card for everyone who came. They're basically like fan sign cards, but like way rarer and way harder to find. But I only am missing like three rare cards, I think for Jihun. So I am so happy. So along with those cards, another package did come today. So this is from K-Pop USA, which is like a store I found from Nevada. And they were like the only one that was actually selling this. I'm just hoping that it actually is what I think it is and that they didn't send me the wrong version. Oh my God, it is the real one. Oh, oh my God. Ah! Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh my god, ooh, that lighting. So I got the Ode to You in Seoul DVD. I usually don't purchase um, 17 DVDs, but since I did go to this tour, I decided to pick this up. But for some reason, it was like super out of print and I could not find it even though they just made it. Um, so I like searched on Google for like the longest time until I finally found somewhere that was selling it. So if any of you are still looking to get the Ode to You DVD, definitely check out K-pop USA. They're from Nevada and I'll definitely try and leave a link below, but I am so excited to see my polls. So let's go ahead and open it. Sorry about the lighting. It's kind of weird today. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so yes, I got the OTU DVD in Seoul. I just got the DVD version because I don't own a Blu-ray player. I don't even have a TV in my room, but I wanted this really badly and I'm going to force my mom to watch it with me. Um, but so this is the side. This is the back with the track list. I don't know why the light is being so crazy today. So I'm so nervous. I have such a bad luck with pulling Jongun and Jun of anything, so I really doubt that I'll pull them. If I do, I'll actually be super shocked. Um, so let's see if I pull them. Okay, so first of all, um, this is the photo book. Oh my god. Oh, nice. So I pulled the hip hop unit. My god, this lighting. Okay, so I pulled the hip hop unit for the little photo book thing. It's so pretty. I'm sure there are better unboxings. I think KT Takey did one, Katie, on YouTube, um, if you wanna see a better unboxing of it, but this is obviously just to see my pulls. Oh my God, like, come on. I don't think I'll trade these um, just cause I don't really care about them that much. Okay, so I think this is a poster. I honestly don't really know. Ooh, it's so pretty, oh my goodness. I'm actually really happy that I finally was able to find this being sold. So I think the photo cards are in here, probably. Okay, never mind, they are not. Um, but there are two discs, so that is so exciting. I believe there's English subtitles. So I can't wait to watch this. Okay, so I actually literally don't know where the photo cards are. I think they're in the photo book, probably then. Which makes me really nervous. 
Okay, so they're all flipped over. So you do get this little sticker. It says, Dear Carrot, Ode to You. Oh, I miss them so much. Seriously, like if I pull Jungeon or June, like I'm I'm gonna freak because I literally have zero confidence that I will actually pull them. My camera is literally freaking out. I'm so sorry about the weird lighting situation. Um, but let's go ahead and see who I pulled. So this is my first photo card. Oh my god. Guys, oh my god. The first pull, I pulled Jungan. I can't, I can't. Mm, I can't believe this. Oh my god, what? I had no confidence in getting this card because it is so expensive through like Mercari Japan. I figured if I didn't pull it, I literally would never be able to find it. And now I have it. Oh my god, he looks so good with his pink hair. Wow. Like, look at him. I can't believe I pulled this card. We still have two more to go. If I pull June, I'm literally, I'm not gonna scream because I don't scream, but like, I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> Oh, I got Hoshi. He's so cute. Hoshi was bias wrecking me so hard at the shows and I, I love him so much. Okay, so we're down to the last card. I have little to no hope that I'll actually pull June. So let's see. Oh, I pulled Uzi. Oh, this card is so cute. So, oh my god, I can't even believe I pulled this card. So I am going to be trying to trade these cards for June. So this is everything that I got in this clip. I am going to go ahead and move to the next clip because I do think I have some more stuff for this haul. Um, but oh my god, I am so excited to have this card. And obviously I am super close to completing my promise card collection, so you might see that in this video. So until I get my next stuff in, I'll just go ahead and cut to the next clip. See you in a sec. Hi everyone, I am very excited to get into this. I feel like I say that all the time, but like, mail is exciting. So like, you know, gotta be excited for mail. I have been waiting for it for so long. Honestly, I haven't been waiting that long. It's just like, I am so impatient. So today I do have just one package, but it is a pretty big and hefty package. So I am so, so excited to get into this. This um, is obviously from Japan Post. I went ahead and tried out a new proxy service that I heard from a few YouTubers was a good one. Um, some people that I watched their videos were obviously Randy or Che Bomb, as you know him, and I think Meg R also did a video on them. I did use the proxy service called Neokio. This is in no way sponsored by them, but this clip is just my first impressions of them. I purchased everything in this box and I also paid for all the shipping fees and everything for this box, so this is completely 100% my real opinion. But I did purchase quite a few goodies in here, so I am so excited to get into it. So I guess we can go ahead and open this up. So we have a good amount of protection. It seems like they used a lot of wrapping paper. And this is actually what is in here. So it looks like the first thing that we have obviously is a flyer. So far, I do really like their service. Um, they actually have like a real interface. I've never used Bai before because I heard that they had a lot of like big fees, but Neokio actually, um, their service fee is 250 yen per item compared to like Bai or Japonica where they have 500 yen. So it actually did save me quite a bit of money that I probably would have spent on Japonica. I actually really like them. I've also reached out to their customer service a few times and they've been very helpful to me. So. I really like them so far, but you're not here for a review. You're here to watch me actually unbox everything that's in here. I am so excited. Let's go ahead and get into it. Oh my God, there's so much stuff here. So we're gonna set that off to the side. So it seems like they do label everything at their warehouse. So when your packages arrive, they know exactly who it's for and where it's going. I guess we'll just start on top. 
So I am, oh my god, I'm so excited. So I have begun to work on my One Us Japanese collection. I decided I'm not going to worry about their Twilight Japanese photo cards because they are extremely similar to the cards you already get in the Korean version. So I'm not going to worry about those photo cards for Xion and Hwanung. I'm just going to worry about um, their following Japanese releases. So these are photo cards from the uh, Japanese release of 808, which is their Japanese single album. So this is a photo card set that I purchased um, of Hwanung. It's actually missing one of his cards, but I believe I have it in one of these other packages. But so I don't know currently which cards off the top of my head are from which version, but I know that there is like a limited version and then an A, B, and C version. So these are all those cards. And they are just so pretty. I am so happy to have these. So we will go ahead and set those off to the side and pick up the next item. I'm also starting to work on my 17 Japanese card collection. I did go ahead and pick up some Jongan um, Japanese album cards, so we can look at those. Ooh, oh my goodness. They sent me two of the same card? Uh, that's rad. Oh my god. <laughs> so... I did go ahead and pick up a set of Jongan's Happy Ending photo cards, um, except his carrot version card because those are super, super expensive. So I don't know, again, what versions they are from, but I did go ahead and pick up the whole set minus the carrot version. It looks like they sent me an extra of this one, so that's really cool. And then this one, they are so pretty. Happy Ending cards are so pretty, I'm so excited. I decided that for Japanese trading cards, I'm actually only going to be collecting June, but for album cards, I am going to be collecting June and Jongan, just to save a little bit of money because Jongan is super expensive in Japan. So, yes. But for album cards, definitely gonna be collecting him. So the next item that I have was kind of a purchase that I made because I was really missing promise. These cards are not like super important, but it was cheap and I wanted it and so I bought it. So these are Tower Records exclusive uh, Love Bomb photo cards. They're group cards, but yeah, they weren't like super necessary for my collection and they're actually kind of really flimsy. So I don't know if it was super worth it to have these, but as a like OT9 collector, these will look really great in my binder. I think they're really pretty too, so yeah. So for the next item, as you can probably tell already, I also picked up a Xion photo card set of 808 as well. So we will go ahead and look at this. There we go, okay, that scared me. I thought they only sent me three out of the four. So here are his cards. And I believe on this listing, it seemed as though the seller said that one of them was damaged, but from what I'm seeing, none of them are damaged. Japanese sellers definitely, um, they make out damages to be bigger than they actually are. So even if these cards are dented or anything, I honestly don't care. I got these for such a good price. I think this whole set was probably $10. Japanese cards are usually super expensive, so I think that was really exciting that I got this for such a good deal. So the next one, obviously you saw, I already had three of Huan Wung's uh, Japanese photo cards. So I did go ahead and pick this up. So this is his fourth version of the photo card. This is honestly my favorite photo card out of his set. I think these cards are beautiful and where they went to film the music video is absolutely gorgeous but I definitely bought this just for the photo card, but it also did actually come with his uh, member specific version of the 
CD 808. So this wasn't a necessity for my collection to have, but it's definitely gonna look pretty on the shelf. So I am definitely happy to have this. I would love to get Xion's actually, since I already have Huanmung's, but that is not priority. Alrighty, so next up, it seems like we do have 1S's actual 808 album. This is their limited album. So this is the limited edition of the 808 album. For 1S's Japanese collections, I'm actually only going to be collecting the limited albums because as I've stated before, I dislike jewel cases. I really just like the hardcover back. So I think this copy is so pretty. I want to just flip through it just for a second. I know there's no photo card in this. Oh, never mind. Oh yeah, okay. I'm so dumb. I literally bought it with this photo card. So this one will probably just be up for sale on my Instagram. So if you are looking for a Xion photo card, hit me up. But I just want to flip through this really quickly because I have not seen any unboxings for it. And these photos are literally gorgeous. Uh, this is my favorite concept. It's so god. Do you see these boys? Can you see them like oh my god? Oh, this is another one of my favorite concepts. This photo book is just so gorgeous If you have the ability to purchase this album do it get the limited edition. Just do it. It's so pretty Oh my god, I'm so happy to have this so again next I also have one us's Twilight Japanese limited album so this one does have some scuffs on it, but I already knew that because of the picture on Mercari. So this has some of my absolute favorite One Us songs on it, actually. I love their Japanese songs. I don't know the English titles off the top of my head, but these songs on this album are incredible. One Us have just the most amazing Japanese music. So... I did buy this with a photo card included, but I don't collect Connie, so this one will also be up for sale on my Instagram, so look out for that if you're interested. I believe the photos used in this one are just similar to their second mini album, but I still want to look through it because these pictures are literally gorgeous, like drop dead gorgeous. I love them. Twilight is probably my least favorite title track from them, but it's definitely my favorite concept, probably. They're just absolutely gorgeous pictures, and I'm so happy to have these albums. So the next package that I have... Oh, I did not know this would be the entire booklet. So I purchased this because I was going through my Miss and Fromis hours, and I really wanted it. Um... It looks like it's actually a whole book. I thought it was just like a postcard, um, but let's go ahead and open it. So I was going through serious missing promise hours and yeah, so I bought this on a whim. I really wanted it. The picture looked so pretty and I'm still angry at KCON 2019 Japan for promise not getting any merchandise besides from these advertisements. So let's see what is actually in here. Oh my goodness. So there's a little tiny picture of Fromis on it. Let's see if I can get it in focus. They photoshopped them so weird. Some of their faces are definitely super photoshopped. So it looks like it's just like a, oh. So it looks like it's just a brochure with a whole bunch of pictures from KCON 2019 in it. This is so cute. I wanna put it in my binder really bad, but if it's a, like a full booklet, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't wanna cut it out. Oh, another picture. Oh my God, these are so freaking cute. Oh my God. I might have to buy another booklet just to cut these pictures out and put them in my binder because these are so freaking cute oh my goodness missing promise hours don't give me money i'll spend it on useless shit and speaking of missing promise hours so this i already knew would come a little bit damaged but it is one of those other advertisements are you kidding me uh, hello they li are you kidding me they literally taped it they taped it to the cardboard 
Are, is this seller stupid? Okay, well, I bought this because it obviously had Promise's picture on it and I'm literally trash, garbage, and I wanted it really badly. Um, but this picture is so cute. This one is definitely gonna go in my binder. And then it looks like the last thing in here. So this is an interesting way to package things. This is June's happy ending set minus the carrot version card because as I mentioned earlier, they're super expensive to find. But yeah, this is definitely a new, new way to package photo cards. I've never seen this before. Okay, so I finally got them out of their packages. So these are his cards. I, again, I don't know which one is which version, but I do know I already actually pulled this card in my original Happy Ending album. I know this is, I believe, limited A or limited B. I already have this card, so it'll probably be up for sale on my Instagram. So check that out if you are looking for that card. Um, but yeah, again, I, I definitely recommend buying from like Mercari Japan in sets if you can. It just saves you so much money in the long run, especially with like the fees that Neo Kyo or Japonica or anything like that have, because those buying fees can definitely rack up if you're buying like one card at a time. So I will go ahead and move around everything and show you an overview. Yeah. So yes, in total, this is literally everything that I got from Neo Kyo. Um, I definitely highly recommend them. I will let you know though, they are a little bit slow with response time as compared to Japonica and Bai who buy it right away. So if there's an item you definitely really want right away and it's super rare, I would definitely recommend going to them first but if you are more patient or you think the item won't sell definitely try out Neo Kyo. it'll save you a lot of money this is obviously again not sponsored or partnered with them I just wanted to try it out for myself first of all but yeah so I actually think I might have one or two more packages I know this haul is really long um, maybe you'll like it but I'll definitely move on to the next clip see you in a sec hi everyone so actually it turns out my packages that I was waiting for to finish up this haul have been affected by the COVID-19 um, like travel ban and things like that. My packages are actually stuck in their countries at the current moment, so I don't think I'll be getting those for probably a while to be honest, which is really unfortunate. I was really looking forward to the photo cards that were in those packages because they were going to complete my Jihun promise card collection. So that's a big sad moment in my life. I really wanted to complete her card collection before her birthday, but unfortunately I just don't think I will be able to since my packages seem to not be updating on their tracking. So unfortunately I do have to end the K-pop collective haul here on a sad note. Um, hopefully in the future I can get them and I can show you my complete Jihun collection and we can all be super happy and then go ahead and just have a great time. But for now, I am going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, at the time that I'm filming this, I'm like super, super, super close to hitting 2,000 subscribers and I think that's absolutely incredible. I am so grateful to all of you guys that watch me. So I will go ahead and end the video here. Hope you guys have a good day and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!